A women's high school basketball coach, but she she's a winner too. She's a winner. Okay, want to talk about what her record is? Fired because of her attire. I think her attire's winning too. But this is the deal, Brianna O'Connor, former coach of Opelousa's high school girls basketball team, was fired despite her winning record. Connor, an exceptional former. Opelousa's basketball coach was widely acknowledged for outstanding coaching skills and unyielding commitment to discipline. During her tenure with the high school girls basketball team, O'Connor achieved an impressive 18 and 4 record, showcasing her prowess on the court. But despite her stellar performance, the team unexpectedly terminated her. Last year at this time, January 2023, Connor herself conveyed the shocking news of her dismissal. The social media, January 21st, 4th rather, stirring viral attention and controversy. Players bio with the details here. So let's talk more about the reason behind her termination. That became a subject of intense debate, particularly after a post by the news on Facebook, which suggested that the decision was accompanied by the puzzling comment that coach wasn't a quote, fashion show. Well, the news quickly took off on social media. Outraged supporters began weighing in and um, posting, reposting, commenting on it. You see the Facebook posts and the comments have speculated on the reason behind this. Shonda Let Hardy says somebody was jealous she was looking so fly. Quetta, bull crap. I mean, what more can you say? Debbie Jones, that's crazy. She should sue. Charles Clemmy's Facebook page there, the public sentiment strongly leaned towards wanting their children to be mentored by someone who commanded self-respect and wasn't hesitant to showcase, in this case, her capabilities. Controversy surrounding O'Connor's termination sparked a broader conversation about the values and expectations placed on coaches in high school basketball. I mean, just women, okay? However, to this day, the coach has not disclosed the reasons behind her termination. Winning coaches don't stay sidelined for long. Give you the update. There's an update on player's bio that Coach O'Connor is back. This time with Scotlandville High in Baton Rouge. And she's still going to dress the part. You understand? And do what she's going to do. And look at the rest of the team, they look nice too. Shouldn't matter what they look like. Why are you doing this to a female coach who had a winning record? Would the focus be on, do you know what I've seen on the sidelines, folks? And I'm not just talking about that sweatshirt guy who spies on other teams in the NFL. Male coaches, really? And sometimes they put great thought into their outfits and they are, well, it's a clown show. That's just my opinion. I can't dress. Can you imagine if TYT said, you can't fill in for the great Dr. Richie, Karen, because we've learned you're wearing your nightgown under your dress, as I am today, perhaps, perhaps. What if TYT didn't care about how I hosted the show? Well, that could be another road not to go down. What if they said, because we don't like your outfit, you're out of here. 18 and four record. A female bat, she went to this school, Ray. She cared about the school. She apparently cared about her. I didn't hear any complaints about she wasn't treating the kids right and this and that. Mm -hmm. Why do we have to have this little extra sprinkling of discrimination? My words, my assessment sprinkled here. Why? Why? Right. It's so disappointing because this is a, she was professionally dressed in all of those photographs. There is not one inappropriate outfit there. She is dressed like a professional, uh, completely appropriate for her to dress up for the games. My basketball coach always dressed up for our games. Uh, it was the thing that they were expected to do. He would wear a suit. She's a woman. She gets to you know dress up in different ways, express herself in different ways. She doesn't just have to be confined to a suit. Like you know, a lot of men, they can, you're right, find the, the most insane checkered bright pink Easter looking suit they can and wear it on the sidelines. They're not losing their jobs. 
I also, you know, of course, I do think that this is a sex. This is sexism. It's sexist to fire her if that, you know, that is the reason for her getting fired for dressing up. It was sexist for them to talk to her about the way she dressed for the games. They wouldn't do it to a male coach, but it's also sexist that they didn't want to retain this talent to coach their girls basketball team. She had an amazing record. I believe it was 18 and four coaching this team. They didn't respect their uh, ladies basketball team enough to try to retain her as a coach. They didn't care enough about how successful that team was under her leadership to keep her around. They fired her. And now, you know, you know, whether or not she wants to take action against the school, it's been a while now. And sometimes it's not to your benefit, even if you were the victim of discrimination in the workplace, because it makes it harder for you to get a job down the line, unfairly, unfortunately, but that's the way it plays out. But this other school, this new school that she's coaching now is lucky that they are able to have her. Those girls are lucky to play under her, and I'm sure she's going to lead them to a lot of success there. But I mean, I really, at every level, it shows how little they care, not just about protecting their women's staff, but the success of their women's basketball team. Yep. Well said, um, and that that should button it. No, I almost like that she hasn't said much. She announced that she was no longer with the team. She's just going to keep winning. Let yeah. the record speak for itself. And by the way, I find her choices lovely. Yeah. But I'm someone who can't dress, but I think <laughs> I think it's lovely. She's lovely. Good for her.